So Food Revolution Day is coming up on the 16th of May and it's all about getting as many people cooking. We thought fish pie is definitely the recipe to do because it's a fantastic, hearty, warming dish that all the family can enjoy. So this recipe comes in three simple stages. Emmy's on the mash topping, I'm doing the fish and Romina's prepping the veggies. So I've chopped two carrots, they're going into a pan. Now I'm going to chop up two onions. We're just going to put a big glug of olive oil over our veggies. The pan I put these veggies in is what we make fish pie and that's to make sure that all those flavours stay right in there. It's going to go in an oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees. So in this recipe we've got frozen prawns, frozen um, white fish and frozen salmon fillets. So I've got some semi-skin milk here simmering. It's on a gentle heat and into that are going to go my two fillets of frozen salmon and my two pieces of white fish. So just make sure your fish is covered with the milk and they will cook from frozen in about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to keep an eye on them while Emmy makes the mash. So I've peeled and chopped my potatoes and put them into some boiling salted water. They've been in there about 15 minutes, so I'm just going to drain them. So I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. Add the zest of the lemon. Add 40 grams of butter and give it a mash. So I'm going to defrost 400 grams of frozen peas by pouring some boiling water over them. And then I'm going to blitz them. So now I'm just going to stir these through my mash to create a nice rippled effect. Right, so while Emmy's stirring the mash um, and mixing the peas in, I'm going to take this fish out because it's now ready. So first of all, I'm going to pop them on the plate and remove the skin. But that milk is now going to be used on Romina's veggies. Okay. The veggies are meant to be just softened and not brown, so not fully, fully roasted. So first things first, we're just going to add some flour. Yep. We just want to add the flour and coat the veggies in it. So while Mina's coating those veggies with the flour, I'm going to add a little bit of the milk at a time. Now this milk is flavoured with all the delicious juices that the fish have released. So while Mina's going to stir that, we're going to add some spinach. This is again frozen spinach. It's still frozen and when we add that to the heat, it's going to disin like kind of disperse through the mix. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the spinach is now dispersed throughout the dish. Oh, it looks lovely. Look Added at those a bit colours. of colour. So all that's left to do now is to season it, right? Yeah, and we're going to season it with some cheddar cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're going to add a teaspoon of mustard, a good old English mustard. And the juice of half a lemon, right, Mick? Yeah. And that is the delicious veggie filling that's going to accompany our fish. I just eat that without... <laughs> so our fish we're going to crumble in now. Um, the flaked fish that's actually cooled a little so you can it's easy to handle. So I'm literally just going to flake in, catching any bones, just checking for any bones, but flaking in some nice chunks. And last but not least, we've got some lovely frozen prawns. They go in frozen because they cook super quick. So it means Give that a stir and then let's top it with a mash. Get Emmy involved. And now the fish pie needs its hat. Look at that. Come on, that is what Food Revolution Day is all about. Get involved, get in the kitchen with your family and friends, have fun, and then lap up something as tasty as that. Send us your comments, send your pictures, let us know what you guys are up to, but the bottom line is get involved and have fun.